Horses are on the track for race eight at the Illinois State Fair. Three-year-old trotting Colts and Geldings. Win, play, show, exact a wagering. Scratch the sixth floor to crown. Number one is Prime Prospect, owned by Dick Baylog of St. Charles, trained by John Bootenshane, Jim Curran in the bike. Number two, Sweet Talker, is owned by Green Pasture Stables, based in Green County at Carrollton, trained by Reggie Winters, Doug Talley in the bike. Number three, Swiss Locks, owned by Mary Jeffers, a flat rock, trained and driven by Newton's John David Finn. Number four, I see Blue Boy, owned by Jim and Bev Hauser of Mansfield, trained by Delbert Burkett of Ellery, Connell Willis in the bike. Number five is Pepper Relish, owned by Dick Cooley's Tanamira Farms Limited Liability Corporation of Felton, Delaware, trained by Irvin Miller, Andy Miller will drive. Number six, Florida Crown is scratched. And number seven is Pining for a Try, owned by M&M &M Harness Racing, LLC of Suffern, New York, trained by Dave McCaffrey, Dave McGee, the driver. Post time in five minutes. Gates rolling for race eight. Here they come. They're off and trotting, pining for a try, grabs the racetrack and goes right for the early lead. Pining for a try, opens up by three lengths before the entry to the first turn. Prime Prospect comes away in second, Swiss locks up on the outside third, then Sweet Talker, I see Blue Boy and Pepper Relish at the back. Around the turn, pining for a try, leads it by a length and a half. Swiss locks settles into the second position, another two lengths to Prime Prospect. And then Sweet Talker, outside of IC Blue Boy, Pepper Relish is last. Here comes Prime Prospect. The odds-on favorite is out and driving past the quarter in 30 seconds flat, and Prime Prospect is up to challenge, pining for a try for the lead. Prime Prospect takes over by a neck as they move up the back stretch, pining for a try, second by two. Swiss Locks is third by three. IC Blue Boy is fourth by two and a half, and then Pepper Relish, Sweet Talker, is off stride and is now the distant trailer. Prime Prospect mo moves on by the half, off the half in 59 and one, so the tempo was picked up just a shade. A 30-second opening quarter, 29 and one for the second quarter. Prime Prospect is well in hand to Jim Curran, going to the far turn, pining for a try, continues to stalk the leader in second. Swiss Locks has yet to move from third. I see Blue Boy is fourth, Pepper Relish is fifth, and Sweet Talker is far back after a costly break when they move toward the half. At the three-quarter, Prime Prospect leads it by a length and a half, and Pining for a Try is second by nearly five. Back to Swiss Locks, the three-quarters, 129 and two. So Prime Prospect turns for home, looking for a challenge, but finding none so far. Pining for a Try is giving chase, but so far is still second. Three more lengths back to Swiss Locks and third, final eighth mile. Prime Prospect, a two-length lead. Pining for a Try is still in the second position. Pining for a Try makes a final move. Prime Prospect hanging tough prime prospect wins it by a length pining for a try second by three swiss locks was third 157 and four the official winner of the eighth race moves into the winner's circle owned by dick baylog of st charles trained by john bootenshane driven by jim curran prime prospect number one this three-year-old Primrose Lane Colt out of Carsonal by Arsenal, bred by Cottonwood Farm Incorporated of Big Rock, Illinois. Win number seven on the year and win number 10 career for Prime Prospect.